Hi everybody, welcome to GT Coding. In this tutorial series, we are converting this Figma design into a real website using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. And we have already designed the desktop version. Now we are in the process of writing the code for the tablet version. And if you go to the browser, here we can see we have designed the hero section of our tablet version. So this is how it looks. Now in this video, we will start designing the rest of the sections. So let's get started. Alright, here is our source code. So the first thing we will do is we will style this uh, heading over here. So let's go to our Figma file and uh, let's double click over here on this heading for the tablet version. And uh, let's see what is the font size. So let's go to inspect and let's scroll down. And here we can see we have a font size of 40 pixels. So let's copy this from here and uh, let's go to our CSS. And here I'll just type H2 because if you go to the HTML file, we can see for the sections, we have an H2. So if we scroll down, we can see that we have the H2 over here. And for all the sections, we have an H2 for the heading. So let's style the H2 here. I'll just paste the code. So we have a font size of 40 pixels. So let's go back to our browser. And now you can see we have the correct font size for our heading. Now let's go back to our Figma file and here we can see we have all these elements one below the other. Now for this testimonial section we have set a display of flex. So if you go to the desktop version here we can see both these uh, left and right sections are one next to the other. But here in the tablet version we have to position all of them one below the other. So let's go back to our uh, CSS and if we scroll up and let's go to the testimonial section CSS. And here we can see for the testimonial section we have set a display of flex. Now for the tablet version, we have to set the flex direction to column. So let's go over here to the tablet version. And here I'll just type testimonials section. And I'll just set the flex direction to column. And now we can see that the elements are one below the other. Now we also want all these elements to have full width. So here we'll just type align items and set it to stretch. Now if we add a background color over here, we can see that we have full width for this section, but uh, we have added some fixed width to these testimonial cards. So let's go back to our HTML and let's scroll up and let's go to the testimonial section. And here we can see we have this uh, division with the class of testimonial card. So let's select this. Let's go back and uh, let's remove this background color. And here I'll just type testimonial section and testimonial card. And let's set the width to 100%. Alright, now let's go back to our Figma file and let's see what is the distance between these two elements. So let's double click over here. And here we can see we have a margin bottom of 40 pixels. So let's go back to our CSS. And here we'll just type margin bottom. And let's set it to 40 pixels. Now here we can see for this background element, we have added an after selector. Now if we scroll down and go to the testimonial section for the desktop version. Here we can see we have added a before selector and we have a margin bottom of 50 pixels over here. So that's why we had added a top value of negative 50 pixels. But in our tablet version, we have set the margin bottom to 40 pixels. So we have to set the top value to negative 40 pixels. So let's type testimonial section, testimonial card, and we are selecting the second testimonial card. So let's type last child. And here we'll just type colon, colon before. Right now we can see that this background element is on top of the first testimonial card. So let's add a top value of negative 40 pixels. And now we can see it looks all right. And I think we can decrease the height of this background element a little bit. So if you go back to the desktop version, here we can see we have set a height of 100% of the element plus 90 pixels. So for the tablet version, we will have a height of 100% plus 80 pixels. So I'll just paste it over here and here I'll just type 80 pixels and I think that looks all right. And now the next thing we will do is we will move this second testimonial card to the left a little bit. So for the desktop version, we had moved it to the right. So if you right click over here and go to inspect and let's select the second testimonial card. And here we can see we have a transform translate X of 20 pixels. So let's copy this. Or let's copy this selector as well and uh, let's go back to our CSS and I'll just paste it over here and here I'll just set it back to zero 
and now we can see that this background element is not aligned correctly so here we can see this is on the right a little bit and that's because we have moved the second testimonial card to the left 20 pixels so we have to move this before selector to the right 20 pixels so let's right click over here and let's click on inspect and let's select the before selector and here we can see for the before selector we have a left value of 40 pixels so we have to add 20 over here so it will be 60 pixels now we can see it is aligned correctly so let's go back and uh, here i'll just type left of 60 pixels all right now let's go back to our figma file and uh, here we can see we have the heading and this paragraph at the beginning and then we have these two testimonial cards and then we have the button so we have to change the ordering in our design so we have to move this heading and this paragraph to the top so let's do that if we go back to our html file here we can see we have this division with the class of left and then we have a division with the class of right and then we have this button over here so right now the button that is displayed over here is the desktop button so if you right click over here and click on inspect here we can see we have the desktop button selected so we have to hide it in the tablet version and we have to display this mobile button so i'll just go back to the style or css file and uh, here i'll just type testimonial section desktop button and i'll just set the display to none and let's select the mobile button so i'll just type testimonial section mobile button i'll just set the display to block and right now we have a width of 100 percent so we have to set the align self to flex start and now we have the correct width all right now let's set the ordering so if you go back to our html file here we can see we have the left division and in that we have the testimonial cards and then we have the right division and in that we have the heading and this paragraph and then we have this button over here so let's go back to our style or css file and i'll just set the order to one and then we'll select the left division so let's type testimonial section left and let's set the order to two and then we'll select this button so the button is right here mobile button so I'll just set the order to 3 and now we can see we have the heading we have the paragraph and then we have the testimonial cards and then we have this button let's also reduce the gap a little bit so let's go back over here to the testimonial section and here I'll just type gap and I'll just set the gap to 50 pixels now the next thing we have to do over here is that we have to have a single paragraph instead of these two paragraphs so if you go back to our index.html file and let's select the right division and here we can see we have these two paragraphs over here and these paragraphs are inside the right division so let's go back to our css file and uh, here i'll just type testimonial section right p and i'll just set the display to inline so that the next paragraph will start in the same line so now we can see we have a single paragraph All right now let's add some margin bottom for this h2 so let's type testimonial section h2 and we will add a margin bottom of 20 pixels now the next thing we will do is we will remove the margin bottom for the second testimonial card here we have the second testimonial card so here i'll just type margin bottom and i'll just set it to zero and i think that looks all right all right i think that's it for the testimonial section but now let's scroll down and uh, let's style this our courses section so let's go back to our figma file and here we can see for the our courses section we have each course on separate lines so we have to set the flex direction to column so let's go back to our css and let's select the course cards so if you go back to our html file and if you scroll down we can see for the course cards we have this division with the class of course cards and in that we have these two divisions with classes course card so let's go back to our style css file and uh, here i'll just type courses section course card and let's set the flex direction to column and it should be course cards or right, now we can see we have both the courses on different lines or right, now let's go back to our figma file and uh, let's see what is the size of this image so let's double click on the image and uh, for the image we have a height of 260 pixels so let's go back and uh, let's add that here i'll just type courses section course card img and let's set the height to 260 pixels and now we can see that the image has shrunk so for that we have to type object fit and set it to cover 
and now everything looks all right all right let's go back to our figma file and uh, let's double click on this heading and let's see what are the styles so if you go to inspect and if you scroll down we can see that we have a font size of 30 pixels let's go back to our css and let's add it over here so i just tap courses section course card s3 because if you go back to the html file we can see that we have this s3 for the heading all right now let's copy and paste the code and uh, i think it was 30 pixels already let's decrease the font size a little bit and let's see how it looks and i think that looks all right all right now let's go back to our figma file and let's see what is the gap between these two cards so we can see we have a gap of 80 pixels so let's go back to our css and uh, here we will go to course cards and uh, let's add a gap of 80 pixels and i think that we already have some default margins so let's right click over here and click on inspect and uh, here we can see we have a margin of 40 pixels top and bottom so we have to remove the margin so here we'll just type course section course card and we will set a margin of zero and now we have the correct gap but uh, we need to have some margin bottom for this heading as well so let's add that here let's tap courses section and for the heading we have an h2 so let's tap h2 and i'll just add a margin bottom and uh, let's try 40 pixels and i think that looks all right now the last thing we will do is uh, bring this button over here to the left so if you go back to our figma file and if i click over here and hover over this area we can see that we have a gap of 100 pixels so let's go back and uh, let's select the button so we have this anchor tag with the class of btn so let's go back and here let's tap courses section btn and let's add a right value of 100 pixels and the style is not being applied so let's right click over here and uh, let's click on inspect and let's see what's the problem now here we can see we have added courses section btn and uh, this css over here that we just wrote has been overridden by this css right here because this selector is more specific so we have courses section wrapper and btn so let's copy this selector and uh, let's add it over here and now we can see that the button is displayed correctly now let's go back to our figma file and uh, from the button to this course card we have a gap of 50 pixels so let's add some margin bottom for the course card so i'll just select the second course card so i'll just have courses section course card colon last child to select the second instance and i'll just add a margin bottom of 50 pixels or right, that looks all right all right that's it with the courses section now let's scroll down and then we have the get our app section so if you go back to our figma file we have the same styling for the desktop version over here as well so let's move on to the next section which is the footer and for the footer we have a two column layout so let's go back to our css all right now for the footer we have set a display of grid so here we can see for the footer links container we have set a display of grid and here we have set a grid template columns of 2fr 2fr and 3fr so we have three columns now for the tablet version we need to have two columns so let's scroll down and uh, here we'll just type footer links container and uh, let's type grid template columns and let's set it to 1fr 1fr for two columns with the same width and now for the third section we need to have full width so if you go back to our index.html file for the footer we have this links container and in that we have divisions with the class of links so we can see we have three divisions with the class of links now for the last division with the class of links we have to have a width of 100 percent so let's go back over here to style or css and uh, let's type footer links container links colon last child and here if we just type background and red we can see we have a width of 50 percent now since we have set the display to grid we have the first links division over here and then we have the second links division and then we have the third links division over here and this is the space for the fourth one now we have to span this third division for two columns so here let's type grid column and we have to type one forward slash three now it will span two columns so now we can see we have 100 percent width right now let's remove this background color and that's it with the footer of our tablet version
and with that we have completed the design of the tablet version so this is how it looks we have the hero section over here then we have the testimonial section and then the courses section the get our app section and the footer so everything looks all right all right that's it for this video if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day